What are you doing, Levi? You got an itch? Come here. Come here, scratch it for you. Yeah. What are they doing? Are they getting the cows for me? Yeah. Are they getting the cows for me? Are you gonna help today? No, just eat some hoof chips. Hello everyone and welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. On today's video, we are on a small organic dairy near my home and we have got a cow with a sore left front foot. If we zoom in real close here, we can see this crack in the heel bulb area. But if you're a student of the game, you know that this is not where this problem started. So let's uncover the real problem. First things first, let's give this foot a little trim up. Now you'll notice that these are pasture cows, so there's not a lot to trim here. Just a little touch up, and this is gonna also help us to uncover this problem. You'll notice with this girl how dark her hooves are. That's not an indication of any problem. Different breeds have different color hooves. This happens to be a brown Swiss, so you're gonna have darker color horn. Now that we've got that trimmed up, it's pretty obvious where this problem is. She's got a crack in the white line, and underneath that is a lesion. So let's get the knife out and get this opened up. Now a natural question might be, if you know that the problem is underneath that mark in the white line, why are you starting up at the top in the heel bulb area to remove the loose horn? The reason I do that is because I know that that mark in that white line has caused that heel bulb to separate. So because I've got a clear uh, uh, defined area of released horn up above, I'm gonna start there and it's going to connect all the way down to that mark. Now, if I were to start at that mark, which I could, the only problem with that is, is I might have to remove more of the outside wall than is necessary to get that area opened up. Here at the top, because I already know it's loose, I can start up top, use some of the leverage from that loose horn to be able to peel that back, open that area up, and then I can remove the least amount of horn necessary to fix this problem. Here I'm just gonna get the grinder out. I'm gonna thin this sole out a little more of the area that I, uh, that I know I need to remove just to make it easier with my knife. Cows that are out on pasture tend to have drier feet. Drier feet, drier hooves mean harder hooves, so it's just easier to cut when it's uh, thinner, so that's what I'm doing here with the grinder. You can see a little better here how now I've got this area thinned out. So I can take my knife right up toward the top and use the hook of my knife, slide it up underneath that released horn, and I'll be able to work all the way down to that mark and remove all of the loose stuff around the lesion that's hiding underneath there.
This perspective here will give you a better idea of what it looks like to me when I'm working on this foot and what I need to remove. How do I know how much to remove? Well, if you look real close, you can see there's still some overhang around that lesion that I need to get taken away from there. So that's what I need to do now. Slide my knife up underneath that to get that lesion completely opened up so it can heal. That's the key part to this whole, uh, this whole process. Now it's time to prep that other claw and get a block on that. What's that block gonna do? It's gonna elevate that injured claw off the ground. It's gonna allow that horn, that new soft horn that's developed underneath there to harden up and to become thicker over time. Eventually, that'll heal that lesion over and we'll have enough horn there that she can support weight on. Until then, that block is gonna act similar to a crutch, keeping, her, keeping the weight off of that claw until that can all happen. I'm going to get this all cleaned up. We'll zoom in here one more time before we put on our final treatment. Here you can see the full extent of that lesion and why it was painful for. You can also see this new soft horn tissue that's starting to develop underneath here. Eventually, that'll all become hard and should be able to bear weight on it again. But until then, that's why we have that block there. Now it's time to get that salicylic acid treatment on there to kill any bacteria that might cause digital dermatitis that could colonize on that lesion and keep it open. That salicylic acid's going to take care of that. So we'll get this wrap on it, and then we'll uh, send her on her way back to the pasture with the rest of her herd mates. And that's going to do it for today, guys. As always, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.